Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm on with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Now, you may remember on the parish notice board a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that we were having, myself and the wife, a little weekend away by the sea on the Holderness coast in the East Riding of Yorkshire. And there are two villages that I'd like to cover while we're up here. This is the first one of the two. And we're spending the night in this bed and breakfast, which is behind us. That's the Wheat Sheaf. It used to be a pub in this village. There is a, still a pub in this village, which is a little bit further away. You might be able to see it just in shot there. We're going to go and have a look at that in a moment. But first, we need to walk up to the church, which is behind the camera, through this junction, which has some traffic lights on it. That's our first stop in this village. And this village could go by two names, in fact. Depending on how you want to pronounce it, this is either Wellick or Wellwick. Now the church here is not open at the moment so I can't go into it. Uh, it would have been nice however to get into it because there's a very interesting floor slab in there uh, and that's to uh, William and Anne Wright which is dated in 1621. It's interesting to note that William Wright was related to Christopher and John Wright who were two conspirators in the gunpowder plot.
Okay, so far there's been nothing to indicate that Wellick is anything more than uh, just a nice village uh, in East Yorkshire, which to be fair, it isn't really. Um, but there are some other features of this place which we still need to see. One of those is a salt marsh, which is a nature reserve. And to get to that, we'll have to go down to the River Humber, which the parish boundaries border. And to do that, we're going to need Humber Lane, which is that road directly in front of the camera here. We're going to take the car down there in a little while, but let's walk to the end of the village first, because there's a couple more things to check out up here.
So in the very far distance here, you can see the River Humber, although it's a long way away over the marsh. I'm stood on something known as the flood bank. And I imagine it's called the flood bank because this is almost like the last line of defense, I suppose, if the River Humber, uh, tidal as it is, floods. It doesn't look like it's uh, going to ever come this far up, if I'm being honest. It looks like there's too much marsh in the way. What a fascinating place, full of wildlife. And uh, apparently there's some uh, animals on the marsh as well over there. I can't tell what they are. They look like goats from here, uh, but I can't, I can't be uh, totally sure. The camera might not even be picking them up. But there you have it. Wellwick or Wellick Salt Marsh. So to end this one, I've decided to come and stand in this little bus shelter on the main road through Wheaton. And this has been the parish of Wellick or Wellwick. I would uh, appreciate it if you locals out there could tell me what the actual pronunciation of it is. Uh, in some cases with the, uh, the W as it is, it's sometimes pronounced in village names like this. Sometimes it's not. I'm not sure with this one because obviously I don't live here. I'm not local. Um, so if you could let me know whether it's Wellick or Wellwick, that would be fantastic. I prefer Wellick uh, because where I come from, the W is, is silent in names like this. But it's different from place to place. Um, so uh, yeah, it would be just nice if uh, someone could let me in know on that one. That could be my TVI Ask the Locals bit for this video. What a lovely little village this is. What a lovely parish this is. Wellick and Wheaton. I've enjoyed my time here. It's late in the evening. It's about, I don't know, half past six, seven o'clock now. I've sort of lost track of time, really. Um, and it, honestly, it's if the, if the rest of the East Riding uh, out to the east of Hull is like this, I think I'm going to enjoy my time doing these. There are plenty of parishes and villages out here. Uh, and it's so rural, extremely rural. So right up my street. <laughs> so from uh, the parish of Wellick, or Wellwick, I've been the Village Idiot. And I'm out.